Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India So you know that uh, language represented by a regular expression is defined as regular language. Now we are in a position to provide alternative definition of regular languages via finite automaton either DFA or NFA and also via regular grammars. That is the class of regular languages is precisely the class of languages accepted by finite automata and also it is the class of languages generated by regular grammars. So, this results will give by providing a few theorems. So, first we are going to prove that regular expressions are equivalent to finite automaton. That means, the class of languages accepted by DFA or NFA is same as that represented by regular expressions. So, we say that a regular expression R is equivalent to a finite automaton A. Suppose, A is a finite automaton we say that R is equivalent to the finite automaton A, if the language written by the regular expression is precisely accepted by the finite automaton A. Now, in order to prove this equivalence, regular expressions are equivalent to finite automaton. So, what we will do? We prove these two given a regular expression R e, we construct an equivalent finite automaton and then given a DFA, A, we show that L of A is regular. That means, there is a regular expression R that represents the same language except by the finite automaton A that is L A. Now, to prove one, we will first prove this first point. So, we will first prove three lemmas. So, what we will assume is that say so, R 1 is a regular expression and R 2 is a regular expression. Then let us assume that there exist finite automata say A 1 denoted as Q 1 sigma delta 1 Q 1 F 1 and which accept the language represented by the regular expression R 1. That means, L of A 1 is exactly L of R 1 and assume that for this regular expression R 2, we have an automaton say A 2 given by Q 2 sigma delta 2 Q 2 and F 2 such that L of A 2 is exactly L of R 2. So, we assume that for two regular expressions given regular expressions, we have two automaton A 1 and A 2 respectively that accepts the corresponding language of the regular expressions. 
now approve these lemmas these lemmas so first lemma says that there exist a finite automaton accepting l of r1 plus r2 that means given r1 and r2 and the corresponding finite automa automata then we can construct a finite automaton accepting a language r1 plus r2 let us see how can you do that so let's assume that the automaton a1 for r1 for l of r1 is this one so there is star state which is q1 and there are many other states and eventually set of final states that is denoted as f1 so this is the automaton a1 similarly we have the finite automaton a2 for l of r2 where we have a star state q2 as you have already defined and a set of final states this is f2 so this automaton accepts l of r2 so a2 is for l of r2 now from these two automaton will construct a finite automaton which is say a which will accept the language l of r1 plus r2 now to do that from a1 and a2 we construct say a which will accept l of r1 plus r2 we claim that way so it is nothing but q sigma delta q0 f corresponding elements where q is basically all the states in a1 union states in a2 and then we introduce a new state which is a star state of the automaton a that is q0 is a new state that we have introduced then set of final states for this automaton a is the union of the final states of a1 and a2 and we define delta which is from q cross sigma union epsilon this is basically an nfa goes to the power set of q so we define by we define this transition map by this so delta q a for this automaton where q is any state then it may be we keep all the transitions from the automaton a1 that means delta 1 q a if q belongs to q1 capital q1 and a belong to belongs to sigma union epsilon that means it retains all the transition functions of automaton a it also retains all the transition functions of the automaton q2 that means delta q a equal to delta 2 q a if q belongs to q2 because we have used delta 2 and a belongs to sigma union epsilon finally from the star state q0 if q equal to q0 if there is a star state then on epsilon 
the automaton A will transit to either Q 1 that is source set of A 1 or Q 2 that means, it is nothing but Q 1 union Q 2. So, if Q equal to Q 0 and A equal to so A equal to epsilon. So, on epsilon transition from the star state of new automaton A, it will move to either the star state of A 1 or the star state of Q 2. That means, in this figure what we do we for the automaton A, we introduce a new star state that is Q 0 and from this Q 0 to the star state of A 1, we give epsilon transition and from the star state of A, we give epsilon transition to the star state of A 2 and the resultant automaton that we have got. There is an automaton that we have got is the automaton A. And I claim that this automaton A accepts the language represented by the regular expression R1 plus R2. That means, L of A is nothing but L of R1 plus R2. So, intuitively it is quite clear because if this automaton A accepts the language accepts a string suppose x belongs to L of A, then it has to start at to process the string x at start q 0 it must first either transit to star set of A 1 or it may transit to the star set of Q 2 by taking an epsilon transition first. Without loss of generality, if it transits to the star set of A 1 that is Q 1 and from this point onward it will follow all the transitions of A 1 because we have retained all the transitions of A 1 and then onward by processing the string x eventually it will reach one of final states that is one of final states from F 1. And since F 1 and since F 1 is also a final state of this automaton F the string the string will be accepted by the automaton A 1 as well since x is processed at star state Q 1 and eventually it enters the final state which is in F 1. That means, formally we can write it that for x belonging to sigma star, x belongs to the language of the automaton A if and only if there is a transition or it processes the string starting at state q 0 delta hat q 0 x and eventually it arrives at the final state that means, the set of next states intersection f not equal to phi that is how we define the acceptance by an F A. If and only if delta hat we can write it as q 0 epsilon x because x can be written as epsilon x intersection F not equal to phi. If and only if delta hat since this q 0 epsilon x we can write it as delta hat q 0 epsilon first process the string epsilon 
and then you take the string x. So, we apply the same x international function delta h this interaction f not equal to not equal to phi. not equal to phi. Now, the way we have defined this transition delta hat q 0 epsilon this is nothing but it may go to either q 1 or q 2 that means, we will have delta hat to such q 1 and q 2. Because, if we start start state of the automaton a take epsilon transition it may either go to q 1 or it may go to q 2, then it will process string x. So, this interaction f not equal to phi. So, this means that if and only if delta delta hat q 1 x and delta hat q 2 x and take the union that is how we define delta hat q 2 x q 2 comma x. So, this intersection f not equal to phi. So, if and only if by applying laws of set theory you can write it as delta hat q 1 x union sorry intersection f intersection f union delta hat from this delta hat q 2 x intersection f q 2 x intersection f this not equal to is if and only if since this f over here delta hat we are considering only the moves of automaton a 1 delta hat q 1 x. So, we started at start state of q 1 and from that point onward there will not be any transition from automaton a 2. So, therefore, we can write this as f 1 union and this one we can write it as delta q 2 x since from this point onward we will take only the transitions from automaton a 2. Therefore, we can write it as f 2. So, this is not equal to phi. So, this if and only if this says that x belongs to language the automaton a because start the start set of automaton a 1 process the string x. So, if you arrive at at least a some state which belongs to the automaton I mean final set of a 1. Similarly, this says that x belongs to L of a 2. So, therefore, x belongs to either this or either L of a 1 or x belongs to L of a 2. So, since this not equal to phi delta hat q 1 x interaction f 1 not equal to phi means x belongs to L of a 1. Similarly, delta hat q 2 x interaction f 2 not equal to phi this belongs that means, x belongs to L of a 2. This means, x belongs to L of a 1 union x belongs to L of a 2. Therefore, if x belongs to L of a then x must belong to either L of a 1 or x must belong to either 
L of A 2. Therefore, L of A equal to L of A 1 union L of A 2. So, this is proved. Now, in lemma 2 we will show that. So, if there exists fine automaton for regular expressions R 1 and R 2, then there exists a finite automaton accepting L of R 1 R 2, which is a concatenation of the two regular expressions. Let us prove it. So, it looks quite simple and similar to the previous one. So, what you do if this is the automaton A 1 with star state Q 1 and the set of final states F 1 and this is the automaton A 2 this is for L of R 2 and this is for L of R 1, which has a star state Q 2 and the set of final states F 2. What you do in the automaton A that you construct for L of R 1, R 2 from these two automat automata A 1 and A 2 we consider this f 1 to be f 1 the set of final states to be non final states and give epsilon transition from each of these final states to the star state of automaton a 2 and in a this is the new automaton a that we have constructed q 1 will be the star state and f 2 the set of final states of a 2 will be the will also be the final state of a and all these final sets of q 1 will be non final states or ordinary states in A. Now, we claim that the language accepted by the automaton A is nothing but the language accepted by A 1 concatenation language accepted by A 2. So, therefore, it is nothing but L of R 1 concatenation R 2. Formally, the construction can be shown to be like this say A is a quintuple with Q sigma delta is Q 1 is a star state of A and F 2 set of answers of a 2 is a final states of final state final states of A. So, where Q equal to Q 1 union Q 2, we have not introduced any new state over here, the set of states remains same Q 1 union Q 2 and delta is defined by let us define delta like this. So, delta of Q A This is basically delta 1 q a. We retain all the transitions of this state uh, of this automaton a 1. Therefore, delta q a for this automaton will retain all the transitions of this one except that there will be a transition on epsilon from the set of final states to the star set of q 2. So, this is nothing but delta q a equal to delta 1 q a if q belongs to q 1 if q belongs to q 1 and a belongs to sigma union epsilon 
of course, this will be q 2 if q belongs to f 1 that means, for all states other than f 1 we retain this transition whenever it enters a final state of a 1 then on epsilon it goes to the star state of a 2. Similarly, once it enters the star state of q 2 we retain all the transitions of a 2 that means, delta q a equal to delta 2 q a if q belongs to q 2 and a belongs to sigma union epsilon that is as usual. So, this is a transition function that is defined for the automaton a that we have already constructed. Now, we claim that L of a equal to L of a 1 continuation L of a 2. To do that, suppose that there is string x which is a 1, a 2 up to say a n and this belongs to say L of a. That means, this automaton a that we have constructed from a 1 and a 2 accepts the string x which is the form a 1, a 2 up to say a n where each a i belongs to sigma. That is, that is delta hat q 1 x star set of automaton q automaton a, a is q 1. If it processes the string x at a star state, then it will eventually reach a final state. That means, this intersection f 2 not equal to 5. This is from this is from the definition of acceptance of a string. Now, it is clear from the construction of the automaton A that only way to reach from q 1, the only way to reach q 1, reach from q 1 any state of f 2 is via this state q 2, because we have to arrive first one final states of a 1, from there we have to take an epsilon transition to q 2 and then only we will be able to arrive at one of final sets of f 1 and we have only epsilon transition from f 1 to q 2. Thus, while traversing through x, while it traverse through x the automaton a from q 1 to some states of f 2, there must exist some state that belongs to f 1 and some number k which is less than or equal to n where n is the number of symbols over here such that p must belong to the set of next states when you process from star state the string a 1, a 2 up to a k. So, after processing up to k the automaton enters the state p where p is a final set of a 1. From there, it has to take epsilon transition to q 2 and then delta hat q 2 a k plus 1 a k plus 2 up to it has to process the whole string and this will eventually reach a final set of a 2 that means, this intersection f 2 not equal to phi. Then what I found is that the string x 1 which is a 1 a 2 up to a k this must belong to the language of the automaton a 1 because it has started the start stop automaton a 1 and process the string say this is x 1 and p is a final state of f 1. Therefore, this string must be accepted this x 1 must be accepted by the automaton a 1. So, this belongs to the language of a 1 and 
the x 2 the other string this string say call it x 2 a k plus 1 a k plus 2 a n. Since, after processing this substring x 2 at the start set of q 2 and taking all the moves of a 2, it eventually enters a final state because this interaction f 2 is not equal to phi. Therefore, this must belong to the language of a 2. Therefore, x which is equal to x 1 x 2 must belong to L of a 1 concatenation L of a 2. Conversely, to prove the converse say x some string x belong to h sigma star belongs to the language of L of a 1 L of a 2. Then we can write x as x 1 x 2 such that x 1 belongs to L of a 1 and x 2 belongs to L of a 2. So, for some x 1 belongs to sigma star it must belong to L of a 1 and x 2 must belong to L of a 2. So, that x 1 x 2 is nothing but x. Therefore, if that is the case then delta hat q 1 x 1 intersection f 1 not equal to phi. Similarly, for this from this we get delta hat q 2 x 2 intersection f 2 not equal to phi according to the definition of acceptance of string by each of these automation. Now, if we consider this computation q 1 x as q 1 x is is q 1 x 1 x 2. So, in 0 or more steps eventually it will arrive at p after processing the string x 1 and x 2 will yet to be processed. So, where for some p belong to the final states of final set of f 1. Now, from here this configuration can be written as p epsilon x 2 and here from this since p belongs to the final set of a 1 by taking epsilon transition from that state it can go to the star set of a 2. So, therefore, in one step it will go to star set of q 2 from p epsilon and x 2 will remain because you know that delta p epsilon equal to q 2. Now, from this point onward taking 0 or more steps eventually when it is processed it will arrive at some state say p dash and the string epsilon will be x 2 will be exhausted where p dash is a final state of f 2. So, since we have this computation therefore, delta hat q 1 x intersection f 2 not equal to phi. So, if we start at q 1 process the whole string x eventually we arrive at a state p dash which belongs to f 2. Therefore, delta hat q 1 x interaction f not equal to phi. So, this implies x belongs to L of a. So, therefore, we have proved this lemma. Now, let us show or prove another lemma which is lemma 3. This says that given any regular expression r 1 if we have a finite automaton 
to accept the language written by this regular expression R 1. Then there exists a finite automaton accepting the language L of R 1 star. L of R 1 star. That means, the clean closure of the regular for the clean closure of the regular action R 1 will have a finite automaton. We can always construct a finite automaton. So, so what we do in the construction is that, so if this is the finite automaton accepting the language written by the regular action L of R 1, it will have a star state Q 1 and the set of final states set is F 1. So, we construct a new automaton set is A set is A 1 accepting L of R 1. We construct a new automaton where we introduce a new star state that is Q 0 a new final states fin final state say it is p and we consider all the final states of a 1 to be non final states in the automaton a then we give absolute transition from the final each of the final states of a 1 to the final state p of automaton a we provide epsilon transition from final states of A 1 to the star set of A 1 and also we provide an epsilon transition from the star set of A to the final sets of final state of so, clearly this is a NFA and this NFA we have constructed from the automaton A 1 for L of R 1. So, clearly the automaton A contains the element Q sigma delta Q 0 f, where Q is Q 1 union we have introduced a new star state and final state p and delta q a for the automaton a is defined as it will go to state either q 1 or p on epsilon transition on epsilon transition if if the state q the state q belongs to the final state of so this epsilon transition if it belongs to this final state of a1 or it is a star state of a that means for this epsilon transition so if q belongs to f1 union q0 then on epsilon transition a equal to epsilon it will go to either q 1 f 1 to q 0 to sorry this is q 1 q 0 to q 1 or f 1 to p or q 0 to And then it takes or retains all the transitions of the automaton A 1 if Q belongs to Q 1 and A 
belongs to sigma union epsilon. So, this is how we have constructed the automaton A from the automaton A 1 and we claim that this automaton A accepts the language L of R 1 star. This is because without taking an input at the star state, it may go to the star state of A 1 and then using this transition, using this transition from the final set. So, once it reaches the final state, this using this transition it may again come back to the star state of k 1 and it can be done many numbers of times. So, that denotes R 1 star, because this automaton A 1 accepts L of R 1. So, since we have introduced this loop on epsilon transition from the final state to the star state of From a star, from the final state of A1 to the star state of A1, because of this, anything that lead the automaton A1 from the star state to final state, that can be taken many number of times. And since because of this, epsilon transition from a star state of Q0 to the final state of star state of a q 0 to the final set p of a epsilon is also accepted by the automaton a. So, therefore, this is nothing but L of R 1 star. Let us prove this formally. We prove that L of a is nothing but L of a 1 star. Now, for x belonging to sigma star let us consider any string of our sigma star x belongs to L of A means delta hat q 0 x from a star state you process this eventually it must arrive at the state p which is the final state of the automaton A. This implies that either x is epsilon in such a case from a star set q 0 directly we can go to state p or delta hat q 0 x intersection f 1 not equal to phi. That means, we process the string x at state q 0 eventually arrive at one of final state of A 1 and from there we can take the epsilon transition to P that way also we can accept the string. So, either x equal epsilon or this must be true. So, if x equal to epsilon then trivially x belongs to L of A 1 star. So, it is quite trivial. Otherwise, there exists a sequence of states say p 1, p 2, p k which belongs to f 1 and some substrings of x is x 1, x 2 or to say x k such that we can arrive at p 1 after processing the string x 1 at the star state q 1, process the string x 1 at q 1, this x n transition function, then you can arrive at string p 2 that means, p 2 belongs to delta hat q 2 x 2 and so on eventually p k belongs to delta hat so it is q 1 every time you start at the star state of the automaton a 1. So, q 1 x k 
process a string x k at the start set of k 1 and eventually it will lead us to state p k. Thus, for all i greater than or equal to 1 less than or equal to k x i must belong to L of a 1, because in each case p 1, p 2, p k they belong to the state set of final states. So, therefore, each substring x i x 1, x 2, x k must belong to the language L of a 1. Therefore, x belongs to L of a 1 star. So, we have shown or proved three lemmas that means, given automaton fine automaton for the language represented by R 1. So, it is A 1 and for R 2 if the automaton is A 2 then you can always construct fine automaton accepting the languages L of R 1 plus R 2. L of R 1 R 2 and L of L of R 1 star. Now, we are going to prove the theorem that the language denoted by a regular expression regular expression can be accepted by a finite automaton. So, in that we will be using these three lemmas say lemma 1, lemma 2 and lemma 3. Now, let us prove this theorem. So, proof of the theorem. So, we prove the result by induction on the number of operators of a regular expression. So, number of operators uh, of a regular expression are we apply induction on that. Suppose, suppose R has 0 operators. then that is the basis case. In such a case, R must be either epsilon or phi or it may be a single symbol A that belongs to the input alphabet, because there is no operators involved. It must be a single, single symbol, it may be phi or it may be epsilon. For each of the cases, we can construct phi automaton to accept this. For example, if r equal to epsilon, then the finite automaton containing the single state and which is a star state and also a final state. So, this state will accept uh, this finite automaton will accept the string epsilon. Similarly, if r equal to phi, then a fine automaton of this form say this is the state p star state and for any symbol a belonging to sigma there is self loop and there is no final state. In such a case no string will be accepted by this fine automaton and hence r equal to phi or we can also do it like this we can incorporate a final state say p is a star state. So, for all a belonging to sigma we give a self loop here and then say this is the final state. So, this is q and we give a transition from q on all a belonging to sigma. So, since there is no path from the star state to the final state this will also accept empty set. So, therefore, this is the automaton either this or this one is an automaton to accept the empty set. And then if r equal to single symbol a, 
then the, this automaton with star state p on a it goes to the final state q so this automaton will accept the language the language of the automaton will be simply the singleton a so therefore this automaton accepts r where r equal to a now suppose that the result is true for regular expressions with say k or fewer operators suppose r is a regular expression which has k or fewer operators and for that case assume that the result is true we have a fine automaton to accept the same language represented by r that is the hypothesis now consider a regular expression r that has k plus 1 operators we want to show that for this regular expression also or say r dash which has k plus 1 operators then for this regular expression also we will be able to construct a final automaton so, so how to do that if this expression regular expression has k plus 1 operators then there are three cases according to the operators involved in regular expression or with regular expression. So, number 1 is R s must be R 1 plus R 2. Number 2 it may be this R s must be R 1 R 2 or number 3 this R s must be some R 1 star. So, you consider this sum concatenation and clean closure. So, in any case you know that both R 1 and R 2 since R s has k plus 1 operators both R 1 and R 2 must have k or fewer operators. So, therefore, for each of these R 1 and R 2 we have already fine automaton an automaton for R 1 and R 2 is already available according to the induct inductive hypothesis. Now, already we have shown by using this lemma 1 and lemma 2 and lemma 3 that if there is a fine automaton for R 1 and R 2 then we have fine automaton for L of R 1 plus R 2, L of R 1 R 2 and L of R 1 star. Therefore, so therefore, for R s which has k plus 1 operators which is nothing but R 1 plus R 2 or it may be R 1 R 2 or R 1 star will have final automaton accepting R s. So, therefore, for L of R s we have an finite automaton. So, therefore, given any regular expression R will be able to construct a finite automaton accepting the language represented by this regular expression. So, this completes the proof of the theorem that for any given regular expression we can construct a finite automaton accepting the same language. Now, let us give an example demonstrating the construction of the n of an NFA for a regular expression. Consider regular expression say R which is A star B plus A. We will just follow the steps which we have already described to construct final automaton for regular expression R. First, we list the corresponding NFA for each sub expression of A star B plus A. For this A in the first sub expression, the corresponding automaton according to our construction is this one containing a symbol 2 states starts and final state with a single transition on symbol A. So, this automaton accepts 
the regular expression simply a. From this by the construction of clean closure, we can have for the sub expression a star, we can construct the automaton like this. We start with this automaton, this is a, we introduce a new star state and a final state and we make this to be non final state, then there is a new star state given epsilon transition directly to this final state, epsilon transition to this star state of the previous automaton, epsilon transition to the final state from the previous final state and from this final state of the previous automaton to the star state we give an epsilon transition. So, according to the construction this automaton will accept the language of the regular expression a star. Then for b similarly expression b we have the automaton containing two states where there is single transition on input symbol b. Therefore, for a star b that means concatenation of this a star and b we can now construct the automaton like this. First you consider this automaton and then epsilon transition to this one. Transition. So, this is the automaton for A star and this is the automaton for singleton B. Now, according to the construction we consider this to be a non final state and from this non final state we give an epsilon transition to the star state of this automaton and we make this to be the star state of the automaton and this is the final state of this automaton. So, this will accept the language of the regular expression a star b. So, therefore, the automaton for a star b plus a will be this automaton union will create now a new star state and the automaton for a will be for this a we draw here the transition diagram for the automaton with a single turn A and we create a new star state give epsilon transition to the star set of previous automaton and epsilon transition to the star set of this automaton. So, this is a star set of the new automaton and this one and this one will be final state of this New, new automaton which will accept the language a star b or 